So in another way, I can say, yes, it is a machine. You are a machine that's been completely programmed to behave in a certain way from the beginning to the end. Because look at it, you were born and through your parents and so you inherited their DNA. Genetically, you're going to have whatever the clan from each direction, their genes gonna be transferred to you. So, and, and then you were born wherever you were born. If, you, if you're born in an Islamic country, a very severely um, fanatic Islamic country, you're going to be a different person and behave differently in comparison that if you were born in, let's say, uh, a very open-minded society, you were born in Scandinavia or Germany or um, so your way of thinking is completely different. You're exposed to a different religion if you were, different way of thinking. Or if you weren't born in Jamaica or South America or in China or some village in Philippines. So your environment is going to affect you. You're going to be affected by, besides your genes, you're going to be affected by the environment. And then how your parents are. Were you born in a wealthy family, which is well-traveled and they're academics, they're into studying, or are you born into a very basic family, it's in a village and they're always dealing with survival or they're fighting the other villages and, or they're farmers or they're scientists, it depends. So now you're going to be this person based on where you landed and the culture that you're growing up. You're born in an Islamic country, uh, which is very much practicing and they're really traditional and they have their prejudice. So now you're expecting women to be covered and alcohol is not uh, accepted. Or you were born in Jamaica, for example, and it's people like to smoke marijuana and it's perfectly fine. And, and uh, the weather's warm. So most of the day you're half naked outside walking around. And then it's okay to have some rum here and there. So it's, uh, so which one is good or bad? Which one is right or wrong? It's all based on how you've been conditioned. So how much choice did you have over that? Did you decide on that? Or how about if you're born and you you have some physical problems, genetically you have born, born with deformity. How much choice did you have over that? Did you manifest it? Did you want to be born deformed and experience life like that? Is that something you chose before you were born? Uh, if you have a choice, wouldn't you want to have an IQ like Albert Einstein? Don't you want to have a body like Michael Jordan who can fly in the air? Don't you? want to have a very healthy, powerful, athletic, good-looking body and a very intelligent mind? Wouldn't you want to have a great heart with a lot of love in it and everybody loves you? See, we deeper 
the deeper we go into the rabbit hole, the more interesting it gets. And it makes you think, it makes you pay attention to stuff, you know, because it gets you out of the box. We're so conditioned, hypnotized in looking at things only in one certain way. And we got used to it. And this certain way has serv been serving us. And most of us are not open to anything else. So we get to a certain point in our lives because you have to fail. And a lot of times we do. Failure happens. Dis disappointment happens. And it forces us to think outside of the box. It forces us to look at things differently because you're not getting what you want. Things aren't going your way. And it creates a situation that you question stuff. Hi, Karen. Did you cut your hair off? Yeah, is there? You have short hair? Oh my God. You cut all of your hair. Yeah. Right. Let me see. Turn around. Oh, wow. So, okay, you have short hair now. Let's see, how is that? Easier? Are you there? Can you hear me? Uh, it will be fine when it grows up. Huh? I didn't hear anything you said. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I, can you, you know, maybe you, maybe, you, maybe you type it to me on the chat box no. because, I, because uh, okay. I don't hear you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Any questions? Anybody? Any comments? Nothing? Are you yeah. hiding out? Don't worry. I'm not going to beat you up. I I can just get, okay great you, hi. you hi 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 Candace so you good. went short you went short too huh yeah in the summer right summer. <laughs> okay um I'm so glad you're talking about this it's really great and um so so things that have happened in my life none of it was my fault right that's what you're saying right yeah. I mean, we couldn't have helped it. That's all how it happened. And yeah, it's very liberating. Yeah. N none of your accomplishments are yours or your failures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. The, of course... The ego wants to claim all the accomplishments as me. Look at me, look at me. I'm, wow, I'm wonderful. Yeah. That's a part of us wants to go there. And then uh, the more you go, the deeper you come to this understanding. And the more you start to realize that none of it is you. And even, yeah. So then what happens is creates an opportunity to go deeper into the silence, 